Hey, it's Vin with Con Freaks and Geeks, and we're delving into Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. It's a celebration of Nickelodeon's timeless cartoons, and it is another take on platform-based fighting. Although 2021's Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl was amusing, its presentation and features were a bit sparse, but All-Star Brawl 2 meaningfully builds upon and expands this experience. But does it warrant being a sequel, and is it worth picking up? Well, buckle up, because it's time for some slime. The character roster makes any crossover tick, and of course, All-Star Brawl's 2 roster includes popular characters from SpongeBob SquarePants, Avatar The Last Airbender, Danny Phantom, and many more. But what's curious is how the roster has shifted. Out of the 25 launch characters, 14 are back from the original game, but 11 are brand new. Gone are reps from Cat Dog and ah, real monsters, but in are LT Grey and Angry Beavers. And honestly, this shakeup is great. It keeps things fresh while still keeping old faves, even if switching in Don and Raph for Leonardo and Mike feels like playing musical chairs. But even returning characters have switched out moves for new tricks that often lead to more over the top shenanigans. Just to name a few, Garfield has a speed up boost and Egg now channels all elements. The big feature this time around is campaign mode. It's roguelike inspired. You prepare at home base and then venture into three semi-random floors, each with a boss at the end. This mode initially feels quite impressive as it contains different types of stages. These include mini games, NPC encounters, stores, restorative fountains, and so on. I enjoyed how NPCs continue to have new dialogue depending on the context of the plot, and it all has voiceover, too. And the balance between the three different types of currency feels fairly solid. Buying perks, slots, and hub cosmetics provides a sense of progression across runs, and upgrading perks a few times really provides a tangible boost. However, I noticed quite a few familiar encounters just after a few playthroughs. A tad more stage variety would have been appreciated just to have more surprises and to avoid repetition. And more cohesive theming would have also helped each map to feel more immersive. In general, having to beat the mode multiple times just to see the whole plot feels a bit too forced, and I was mostly looking forward to the new dialogue more than anything else. The game expands upon the original's easy-to-understand nature, but now there are side-directional moves and added dodging options. Moving, dodging, and attacking all feel solid in general. The big new feature is the slime gauge, which draws inspiration from traditional 2D fighting games. You can empower or cancel moves by spending a bar, and you can spend two bars to burst. Since you're not able to recover for a while after being knocked away, this burst can really turn the match's momentum, and you can even save up and unleash a level 3 super, which is often fun to watch. These slime techs almost feel a bit extraneous, but they do set the game apart from other platform fighters, and the choice of whether to use the gauge for offense or defense is interesting, even if the options are a bit situational. As a bit of an aside, the game's computer opponents are not particularly tough, and they can make silly mistakes even if the difficulty is cranked up. An improved element is the visual presentation. The stage backgrounds are a lot more elaborate and lively this time around. Although some stages like the Flying Dutchman stage have been brought back, they generally have so much added detail that they feel brand new. And overall, the characters are much more illuminated this time around, which makes them pop in a way that's really appropriate for Nickelodeon characters. And as another touch, some of the costumes change characters' silhouettes rather than just adding a hat or swapping their color palette. A notable aspect is the game's soundtrack, which is full of catchy stage tunes. They really fit the whimsical nature of Nickelodeon's universes. You can listen to songs freely in jukebox mode while seeing characters dance. Another improved aspect is the user interface. The presentation is boosted over the originals. The menu backgrounds have dynamic effects, the character select screen uses 3D models, and some elements like the pause menu are more thoughtfully placed. I also appreciate the brief character bio blurbs, and I particularly appreciate the labels showing stage's origin, and being able to sort through stages by their layout is pretty handy. 
However, there are still a few things that seem a bit stiff. The arcade and campaign map layouts are just connected stars in space, and presently, some of the functionality is a bit weird. It doesn't seem possible to save and quit out of campaign mode from the map, and all of the control changes are handled through the character select screen, which means it does not seem possible to change controls once you're in the middle of a campaign. Another slight downer is that the game's extras and unlockables feel standard. There are a handful of extra modes like boss rush and mini games, but these are just diversions. And there are just two mini games. You can also earn gallery images and trophies for completing campaign mode runs and beating arcade mode, but these also feel a bit basic. And while you can unlock some more alternate color palettes via campaign mode, these generally don't seem any more appealing than the default options. In the grand scheme of things, however, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 truly feels like a sequel with a sheer number of visual improvements, roster switches, and mechanical additions. And if you haven't played the original, or if you're on the fence this time around, this game genuinely does provide a compelling alternate take on platform fighting. When I was watching Rocco, Turtles, and Garfield in the 90s, I never could have imagined I'd be talking about a Nickelodeon crossover fighting game sequel, but quite frankly, I'm excited that we're here. If you remotely enjoy Nickelodeon's characters and aren't expecting anything revolutionary, this game is certainly worth picking up. This has been Vim with Con Freaks and Geeks, Please check out our social media channels for more content, and we'll see you on the next one.